Ethan, thank you. High temperatures and weekend activities tend to be a recipe for more heat related injuries. And today I talked to first responders about the rising calls they're already seeing. From rain, Indiana weather changes at a moment's notice. Back to heat. Yeah, when the heat's hit this kind of extreme, we always expect the run load to come up. After a brief break with heavy storms this morning, high temperatures are back in central Indiana, meaning more work for first responders. We have seen an increase in heat injuries and heat exhaustion. Dr. Mark Leao, the Indianapolis EMS medical director, says crews had 12 heat-related injury cases Thursday. A usual day would only have two or three. Heat tends to magnify existing diseases such as, um, you know, breathing problems, heart problems. Layout says Indy EMS went on about 20 more runs than a normal day Thursday. Carmel Fire is seeing a similar increase in calls right now. Both agencies expect a busy weekend. You know, we're going to have our normal EMS calls, our normal fire calls, uh, but then we're going to have a lot more heat related calls that happen. Layout says the main heat injuries they're watching out for are heat cramps, heat exhaustion, and heat stroke, with heat stroke being the most dangerous. The life-threatening emergency is heat stroke, and that is when the person is not acting right and some of their organ systems be become uh, dysfunctional and even shut down. Layout says if you start to notice someone not acting right in this heat, it's time to call 911. Our 911 dispatchers are able to give instructions over the phone to help provide some initial first aid. With high temperatures expected this weekend, Tim Griffin with the Carmel Fire Department wants people to plan ahead. You really need to be prehydrating right now for the activities you're going to be doing this weekend. Hydrating, very important. If you're going to be outside this weekend, Dr. Layout says his best advice is to have someone else with you so you can both keep an eye on each other.